Hello everybody and welcome. We're cooking with Camille. Okay, today I put on half of my dinner yesterday. These are my Crowder peas and butter beans with turkey tails. Look at this. They look good, don't they? I had to do some in the crock pot because I can't be standing on my feet. And then I got some okra on that's cooking. I'm going to fried chicken. These are my rolls that I'm making, homemade rolls, they proofing up. I made some homemade rolls and I'm going to fry some chicken. Oh yeah, and I'm making a pound cake. And some coleslaw. Okay, to fry our chicken, all we're going to do is get our batter together. Just whatever you want to put in your seasoning. I'm going to put it in a bag and we're going to shake it up. Okay, let just see. They're coming along, proofing up. These are double ones. I'm doing these for order for Miss Judy King. And I'm doing a cake for a customer also. But uh, let's get started frying this chicken, okay? Oh, I want to see. Okay, what we're going to do is get your flour and move this, these beans out today. Got your flour, put my seasons in there. I got some paprika, some garlic, some um, um, a little of everything seasoning, my uh, my seasoning, uh, pep, um, and some, um, why well, can't think, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. And I put in there more paprika for color. And then you just uh, put a little more paprika for color. I'm just gonna do some chicken legs. I wanted chicken wings, but look like every store is out of chicken legs, so we're gonna go with chicken legs. So I make sure I wash them real good and make sure they stay wet and clean them real good. And we're gonna drop them in the bag. And then we're just gonna shake. Shake it real good. So you get enough flour. Oh, I'm making a freaking mess. Why when you have flour, everybody always make a mess. When you make a cake, everything. It's always a mess. Okay. Okay, so let's just drop our legs in there. Let's hope we have a good golden crisp. The more flour, the better the crust. The crust. I'm only going to put three in at a time so it can breathe. You know, your chicken got to breathe. So I always take this enough. And while that's frying, I'm going to go sit down because, you know, my leg has been bothering me. I'm going to go sit down for a minute while we fry that. Okay, let's turn it over. Pretty brown color. Look at that. I'm about to let these cook a little longer because these some big legs. These look like human legs. <laughs> But uh, they're kind of big. I got a, a golden brown, giving enough space to get warm. The okra's coming along. We're gonna fry that for a while. Okay, the cake is in the oven. By the time the cake comes out, the roll should be ready. We'll continue to fry the chicken. How pretty brown it is, but they're so big, we want to make sure we. Cook them a little longer. Okay, I think they're about done. Just let them drain and go ahead and finish frying your rest. Look how golden, pretty brown they are and crispy. So always make sure your chicken is good and wet if you want that good uh, coating on it. Okay, I'm going to make some hot water. Cornbread. Just use. I use white cornmeal. Just follow the recipe in the back. I did. I did half of everything because I wasn't making a lot. And instead of using milk, I use. I mix it. I use milk and water. And you want to make it. You don't want it too thick. And you don't want it too thin. Okay. And then we'll just pour it in there. Hot water cornbread. And uh, because the rolls is for order. Okay. Just. Put your cornmeal in the skillet just like so, just a little grease. 
it's a little too much. Let me pour some of it out. Just a little bit of grease. Uh oh, scared to pour it out. It might fall. Yep, it's going to fall. I'll just leave it in there. Check it out. And let it brown on both sides. And then I'll turn it over. I just put the... This is done. I was just making sure it was done. Put some more in there on the side. Look at that. Look how pretty and brown it is. But they're so huge. I want to leave them in there a little longer. Okay. And then you just check to see. Not quite done yet. Okay, we're going to try to flip it. Smash it. Look almost like a pancake almost. But it's cornbread. Hot water cornbread. And let that continue to cook. The rolls look good. I'm wetting the towel again. You want to keep the towel real wet so they can rise and be moist and won't dry out. That's what the towels are for. Wet this one too. So they can stay. Just put them somewhere where it's hot. Since I got the oven on making the cake, that's why uh, I got them on top of the stove. And you just wet them and put them back on there. Let them continue to rise. I think I'm going to do some small ones. This time I'm only going to use a, just a little oil this time. Now just a drop, just to make it just like so. Just do one scoop this time because it spreads. See how that goes this time. You can see the smaller one did better. So it's better to do smaller ones where you can turn it better. You can make them flatter because some people, like my mom used to like her flat, but I like to taste my bread, so I'm going to leave it thicker. 